Friends and family, we are here this evening, yes, to celebrate the marriage between Austin and Sarah. But what I want us all to recognize tonight is that everything we are about to do is just a shadow of a greater wedding that is to come. I know that the two of you recognize that you love each other, and all of us here expect that, right? We don't think you should get married unless you love one another, but what kind of love is your marriage supposed to be about? Sarah, I am so happy for you in Austin, and I am so thankful for you as a person and the role model that you've been for me. Growing up and seeing you, you were the most strong-willed, fun-loving person, and you two are the perfect match for each other, and I could not be happier for you two, and I'm so excited to send you off to start the rest of your lives together. So cheers to Sarah and Austin. He's a great guy. Sarah's very lucky but Austin is also very lucky. Sarah, you look beautiful tonight. I know Austin was wanting to be the best looking in the room, but that didn't work out. Uh, you definitely take the cake there. Ever since I've known Austin, he's a talker. He likes to talk about himself a lot. But since he's met you, it's, it's changed. He talks about you now, and it's Austin. Austin, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? to live together after God's word in the holy estate of marriage. We love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others to be faithful only to her, so long as you both shall live. By God's grace, I will. Two more. Thank the Lord we don't have like 50. <laughs> you do have like 50. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Sarah, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's word in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others to be faithful only to him, so long as you both shall live? By God's grace, I will. What kind of love? You see, I think most often we love conditionally. We even do that in marriage. We love when we are loved the right way. But there's gonna be moments, many, many, many years from now, where you might not like each other very much. And it's in those moments that God calls you to love. You are called to the sacrificial love of Jesus, to constantly lay your lives down for one another, because that's what Jesus did for you. I also take you, Sarah. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Sarah, I take you, Austin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This I do promise and covenant. This I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Sarah, I give you this ring. Sarah, I give you this ring. Austin, I give you this ring. 
As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. To Sarah and Austin, love unconditionally. Never be afraid to say I'm sorry. Give thanks to God for everything in your life. Live each day to the fullest, not dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Pray for each other as it will allow your marriage to grow and blossom. I now ask that you lift a glass of the toast to Mr. and Mrs. Dragoon. you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Austin, you may kiss your bride. It is my privilege this evening to present to all of you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Austin Sykes Dragoon. Everything in your lives from this day forward is going to be a living example bearing witness that God loved us so much that he sent his only son to die on the cross for our salvation. And it's out of his great love for you that you are called to love one another. 